hello viewers in today's class we are going to uh, solve one important uh, definite integral uh, involving greatest integer function right so here uh, we have to evaluate this integral uh, from pi by 2 to pi and uh, the greatest integer uh, function is cos 2x right so here uh, this denotes the greatest integer function right so let us start so let us call this integral as i right now here uh, we'll uh, solve this integral uh, with the help of uh, substitution method so uh, let us uh, uh, substitute uh, t is equal to uh, cos 2x right so when t is equal to cos 2x then uh, dt over dx that is the derivative of cos 2x is minus 2 sin 2x right now we know that uh, sin uh, theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta so uh, sin 2x can be written as uh, square root of 1 minus cos square 2x right and cos 2x is t so now we can write it as minus 2 times uh, square root of 1 minus t square right so therefore uh, dx is now equal to uh, dt over minus 2 times square root of 1 minus t square right okay so now we have uh, dx is equal to dt over minus 2 times the square root of 1 minus t square. Okay, now uh, since we are changing the variable from x to t, right? So let us change the limits. So here uh, x varies from uh, pi by 2 to pi, right? So when x is uh, pi by 2, then uh, t is equal to cos 2 times pi by 2 and 2 and 2 get cancelled so we are left with cos pi that is equal to minus 1 right the value of cos pi is minus 1 when x is equal to pi then t is equal to cos 2 pi and here we uh, take x is equal to pi so we have cos 2 pi and cos 2 pi is uh, equal to plus 1 right the value of cos 360 degrees is equal to 1 so here uh, we have used the result that cos of k pi is equal to minus 1 raised to k so when k is uh, 2 then cos 2 pi is equal to minus 1 raised to 2 and minus 1 square is equal to plus 1 right okay so when x varies from pi by 2 to pi t varies from minus 1 to 1 right okay so now uh, we can uh, rewrite this integral i as uh, integral from uh, t is equal to minus 1 to 1 and here we have greatest integer t because cos 2x is equal to t and for dx we can write dt over minus 2 times uh, square root of 1 minus t square right okay so now uh, we can uh, simplify it as taking uh, 1 over minus 2 outside the integral so we have minus 1 to 1 and greatest integer t over square root of 1 minus t square dt right okay so now here uh, we see that a t varies from minus 1 to 1 and between minus 1 and 1 uh, we have the integer uh, 0 right so uh, we'll uh, break uh, this integral uh, into uh, the sum of uh, 2 
integrals so we can write minus half and here we can have i1 plus i2 right and uh, i1 is equal to from minus 1 to 0 and here we have greatest integer t over square root of 1 minus t square and dt plus i2 and i2 varies from uh, 0 to uh, 1 right so we have 0 to 1 greatest integer t and square root of 1 minus t square dt right so now here we have uh, two integrals and uh, uh, let us now apply the definition of uh, greatest integer function right so when t uh, it lies between minus 1 and 0 that is uh, t lies between minus 1 and 0 then the value of greatest integer t is obviously equal to minus 1 right and when t lies between 0 and 1 0 and 1 then obviously the value of greatest integer t is 0 right so here uh, uh, due to the definition of greatest integer function uh, greatest integer t denotes the uh, greatest integer less than or equal to t right so uh, here uh, when t lies between minus 1 and 0 the value of greatest integer t is minus 1 and when t lies between 0 and 1 the value of greatest integer t is 0 right so here uh, uh, we have uh, for greatest integer t we have 0 and here uh, we have minus 1 right so therefore uh, i can be written as minus 1 and this integral is now uh, equal to uh, minus 1 to 0 and here we have minus 1 over square root of 1 minus t square dt and the second integral uh, is equal to 0 right because the value of greatest integer t is uh, 0 right so the second integral uh, disappears and uh, we are left with only the uh, first integral i1 so therefore i is equal to minus 1 and uh, uh, this minus and this minus uh, when multiplied together becomes plus and we have minus 1 to 0 dt over square root of 1 minus t square right and we know the standard result uh, which says that the uh, integral of dx over square root of 1 minus x square is equal to sine inverse x right so here uh, the value of uh, uh, this uh, integral is sine inverse t and the limits are from minus 1 to 0 right and now we can substitute the value of t as 0 and minus 1 so therefore uh, we have uh, sine inverse uh, 0 minus sine inverse of minus 1 right so now uh, i is equal to half and the value of sine inverse 0 is 0 and uh, uh, here we have minus and sine inverse of minus 1 is minus uh, pi by 2 and uh, uh, this minus and this minus becomes plus so we have half 0 plus pi by 2 and the result is pi over 4 right so viewers uh, the value of uh, this integral is uh, pi over 4 so this is how uh, we evaluate uh, the value of a definite integral involving uh, greatest integer function